Hey guys, Impure is back here with another map making tutorial. Um, first, I'm going to show you how to make a swing with the new linking grounds option and how to make a red anchor or how to make something which simulates a red anchor. So, first, let's place a ground here so where we can stand on and hop around like a, like a maniac. Yay, hop around like a maniac. Okay, so we have a ground to stand on. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to make a, s a swing. This is going to be the base ground. Um, you can make this base ground infinite mass, so um, the, the swing collides with other grounds, but in this case, I don't care. So I'm going to leave it normal. Then I'm going to make the swing itself. Um, I'm going to make it not heavy, so I can show easier what the features do. Probably going to make it one, so it's even less. So I'm going to make it fixed rotation, just so I can play with it. But you can just um, leave that out, it doesn't really matter. Um, and we're going to check the set values. The set value of this round is 2 and this one is 1. So we're going to copy this code and we're going to go to this document. And you see I already placed most of the stuff here. So here you have the L code. We place that before the, um, the set closing, so the set and the O thingy. Um, I explained that in the previous episode. So we have the L code. Now we're going to uh, get the JD code. Yeah, the JD code. Very, very awesome code. Um, you see here we have an M2 again and an M1. And um, the M2 is the set value of this one. So it's 1, and the other is 2. So we have to fill in 1 here and 2 over here. Now we have some other values. You can take these away, but in my case, I'm not going to take them away. H set stands for the, uh, the flexibility of the string, so the swing. If this is 1, I think the string is really flexible, and if it's 0, the string is not flexible. And amp is damping, so if it's 0, there's no damping, and if it's 1, there is um, there's damping. So it's between 0 and 1, so you have to use comma. Um, yeah, you, you have to put stuff in on the line. As you can see, this, this thing floated down a bit, and it's really affected um, by, by me pushing it, as you can see. Um, we can take that out by making the H set 0. So now the string is solid. That means it doesn't um, become longer or shorter. So whatever we do, it stays between that length. If you want to see how the strings work, this is a new feature, debug. If you uh, select that and then validate it, you can see um, certain map mechanics like the collision box of the mouse, um, the grounds that are being touched. And here you can see uh, the yellow thing that stands for the string. And, uh, and yeah, that's, this is um, quite nice, right? You can see, so if, if you are working with this, the debug option is really nice. Um, and if we make M0, then it should not stop at all. Well, it's, it stops due to gravity, but it has less uh, damping, so it should swing infinitely back and forth if correct. And it seems it does. So um, that's the difference between those. So now we have the swing done. Let me set everything back to normal. Debug way. Let's let's remove this ground, and we're gonna only have this one. And we want to turn this ground. Okay, well let's just um, reset the whole map. Now we're gonna try make a ground that spins, like a red anchor. So we're gonna compensate for a red anchor on the ground. Um, we can make this red anchor spin. We can make it do. Um, can make it do other stuff, we can link it with right glitch and all that sort. So let's copy this uh, map code. Let's make this uh, dynamic first. Let's make it one again, fix rotation one again, just for the heck of it. Now we're gonna place it here. And you can see, oh yeah, it's all nicely, nice code. Okay, now we're gonna place the L code in it again, which is over here. Uh, we're going to get this new code, the GR, um, and we're going to place it over here. GR can also be used to make a swing if you put the same stuff in it. 
it, it, it just behaves the same way. The GR has a motor option as well. Um, and here we're going to use the P, the P numbers, which you have not seen yet. Instead, instead of connecting grounds to other grounds, you can also connect it to uh, coordinates on the map. So uh, we're going to pick the coordinate. We're going to pick, let's just pick the middle of this ground. Let's make it um, 400 and 230. I think it will change back anyways. Uh, let's just load this code and check where it is because I messed that up. Okay, so it's 401 and 248. So we're going to fill in 401. This is if you want the red anchor to be in the middle. To eight something. <laughs> two four eight. Okay. Two four eight. Two four eight. Now we have the M one, which in this case is set value one, so we fill in one. Now we have M phi. This stands for um the velocity of the ground. The first stands for strength. We're gonna make this really high because the higher it is the less easier it stops. And S P we're gonna make um let's make it zero point five. I think that's pretty slow, but I guess it will work for now. If correct, this should work, and if not, then I probably messed something up. So, we're gonna check it, and we see nothing happens. Oh, what did I do? Oh yeah, I changed fixed rotation. Never do that if you want turning grounds. And now you can see the ground is turning, but it's really light, so I can just bump it and do stuff with it. So now we have the turning ground. We can, of course, um, uh, let's do the debug thing. You can see um, it is connected to 0, 0.0. That's also why there are a lot of glitches. But we can also add the the turning anchor somewhere else. So let's let's um, see where should we add this. You know, let's let's add it um, a bit higher. So now it's a lot higher. Let's see how it how it works now. And I'm using the debug, so you can see. Oh yeah, it's still fixed rotated. Uh, let's remove that. Uh, it's a bad habit of mine. And now you can see it, it works as a swing, but automatically. So it moves um, with the string. Uh, and if that's on the same coordinate, it works as a red anchor. And if it's somewhere on the ground, it, it's like it's like really nice um, distant anchors, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I guess that's enough for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll be back for, with more, probably a lot more because there's a lot more to cover.